Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video marks a very special milestone in my YouTube journey as it's my channel's one year anniversary. Now many of my older viewers might know that I started uploading videos to YouTube in June of 2020 and I got so much support and I would like to thank everyone. And so to celebrate such a milestone, I'm going to be creating a special series which I'm going to be uploading videos throughout this month on how to create a custom discard bot from the basics and we're going to take it all the way to the advanced form. So we're going to start off with the very basics and we're going to use Node.js which is a framework which allows us to write JavaScript outside our browser. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the tools that you will need to set up your bot and get it on the Discord platform, make it come online. And in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of commands that you can use to interact with the bot and work from there, we'll gradually take it up once notch every single time. So if you're interested in this series, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. And as always, any links that I show you in this video will be in the description below so you can easily click on that. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so before we can start creating our own custom Discord bot, we will need to get some tools for us. So the first thing that we will need is node.js, which is basically um, a framework that allows us to write a JavaScript outside our browser. So, well, so what we want to do is download the, the recommended version, which in this case is right here on the left. And once the download is finished, just simply click on it and then install it and finish the setup. Once we've installed Node.js, we will also need an editor. So what most developers and I use personally is Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code allows us to edit our code and customize it and make it all fancy. Like it's more like an advanced notepad. So you want to download the version that suits your operating system. So since I have a Windows computer, I'm going to download it from Windows right here and then install it. And the next thing that we will need, that we will actually need to create a bot or an application on the Discord servers itself. So what we're going to do is go to Discord Developer Portal. You can quickly do a quick Google search for Discord Developer Portal. I'll also leave this link in the description below. And once we're here, you'll be right at the Developer Portal. So you'll want to click on Applications. And you will want to create a new application. So as you can see, I already have a couple of applications right here. But you want to create a new application. So for this case, we'll just call it Tutorial 2.0. And you can call this whatever you want. You can give it a profile picture, put a description. But we will, what we're interested in is in this bot section right here. So we want to create this application. We want to turn this application into a bot, so we can allow, so we can add this to our server and then code it. So what we need to do is click on Add Bot, and then click on Yes, do it. What this will do is it will convert our application into a bot, which we can then use to communicate it with Discord server. So you can ch again change the name of the, you can give your bot and change the name and all of that. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do uh, change any of that. But what you see right here is a token. A token is basically allows you to like a password to get into your application. So you do not share this token with anyone. Keep this token to yourself. So we'll revisit this token later. So what you want to do now is create a new folder on the desktop where you're going to store all your files. So as you can see, I have my folder called Discard Bots right here. So if you go here, I have already two folders right here. So I'm I'm going to create a new folder and file new folder and I'm going to call it tutorial 2. So in this folder we're going to store all of our files. So the very first thing you want to do to get started is open up command prompt. So for Windows users it's going to be, a, you're going to go to the Windows search bar and then type command prompt. It should be the first result and for Mac OS users it will be terminal. So as you can see right here uh, when we open up command prompt we have blinking logo saying see users test. So basically this is the local user test right here. So what we want is the command prompt to function inside of this tutorial 2 folder. So the way we do that is to cd into it. So first thing we want to do is cd into the desktop because that's where this folder is stored. The desktop is basically a folder inside this user test. Next we want to cd into the discord bot folder. So cd discord bots. And then finally we want to cd into our tutorial 2 folder. So cd tutorial 2 and now that we've seen it into tutorial 2 we want to run a couple of commands so the first thing we want to do is um, we want to 
install discord.js so we're gonna type npm install npm install discord.js what this will do it will set up our framework to so that we can work with discord.js so just give it a few moments and you'll download the necessary modules okay once discord.js is downloaded you want to type npm in it now this will ask you a series of questions that you have to answer so for the package name we're gonna it will keep it the same as tutorial 2 version we're gonna, we're gonna keep the version the same as 1.0 you can write a description here if you want I'm gonna skip it and entry point we're gonna keep it in index.js you can change this to whatever you want this will basically be the file name but we're, I'm just gonna keep it index.js for simplicity's sake you can name the command and you're gonna skip this we're gonna come back to git repository later and then keywords you can skip this you can put your name if you want and license we're going to keep the license at isc a center and then if you see this all looks good type yes so what this basic has done is it has created a package file a json file inside of our discard bots folders if we go right here because you can see it has the package file right here and these are the node modules with the we that we've downloaded prior so as you can see this is a json file and now what we want to do is open up this J json file in visual studio code so the way that we're going to do this is go back to command prompt and if you're on windows or linux very really simple all you have to type is code dot but if you're using a macbook you'll have to manually open up visual studio code so there we go. The thing about command prompt is that instead of us having to type this out all manually, we can use npm.init created for us. So now what we're going to do is create our main file index.js, what we have right here, so we can, we can start the main coding. So what I'm going to do is go right here and click create new file. I'm going to name it index.js. Okay. And so the, now we want to use the discard.js node module inside our file. So we're going to type const discord equal require parentheses open quotation mark discord dot js okay next we want to create our own bot so we're going to use client and what we're going to do is basically this will allow us to create the client using discord dot js so we're going to type is const client new discord client parentheses and finally now what we're going to do is usually the usual what we do is we have this last line of code which will basically be the token so like I should what we talked about earlier when I showed you this token right here which is allows us to log in into our application so make sure do not share this server without anyone so what we're going to do is copy and I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code I'm going to type client dot login open parentheses quotation marks single quotation marks paste the token and close that and we're set so this will basically allow us to get our bot online but we're going to add one more thing before we do this so I'm gonna, we're going to type client client dot once and open parentheses ready which is basically our event and open and then we're going to use an arrow function and then we're going to basically con log this to the console that the bot is ready so we're going to type console.log and I'm just going to type bot is ready you can put whatever you want right here with that being said we should have everything ready oh uh, but one thing that we did forget to add was our bot so we actually didn't add the broad to our node server so we're going to go back to discord developer portal and um, we're going to go scroll down right here as you can see it says public bot public bots cannot be added by anyone so basically right now it's a public bot meaning you have the bots invitation link you can add it to your own server so if you do not want to add if you do not want anyone adding your bot to their servers uncheck this so i do not want that so i'm going to uncheck it click save changes and then we're going to go to OAuth 2 right here and we're going to scroll down to underneath scopes we're going to click on bot 
and you're going to give any permission that you want your bot to have. So if you give it administrator, it will by default give all these permissions. If suppose you're just creating a bot that will kick and ban people, then you just have to give the bot the kick members and ban per members permission. However, to make this video simpler, and since we're going to add a lot of features and commands to this bot, I'm going to give the, this bot administrator permissions. So check administrator, and then you'll get a link in like an invitation link. So we're going to copy this link. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And so as you can see, this is our bot tutorial 2.0. We can select drop from this drop down menu which to a server which we want to add. Now, you cannot add your bot to any server that you want. You have to have either the managed server permissions or the administrator permissions. So, in this case, I want to add it to the tutorial server, which is a brand new server that I created for this video. And authorize. Click the recaptcha. Complete the recaptcha. And as you can see, our bot tutorial 2.0 has landed into the server. And so now what we're gonna go do is go back to Visual Studio Code and basically make this bot come online. So we have finished basically all the coding for this part, for today's video, we finished all the coding. And basically with this amount of coding, we can get the bot to come online. So the way that we're gonna run the bot and make it come online is very simple. So we're gonna run it by the command prompt. So we're gonna go back to command prompt. And if again, if we are on Windows or Linux, you can simply type node space dot. All right. So you make sure to save your code before running running a command prompt. So node space dot, and that will say bot is ready. So if we go back to our Discord, it says, as you can see, the bot is online. Tutorial 2.0. So obviously now, if you type anything, now it won't work because you haven't actually added any commands to your code. But with simple code that we have created right here, the bot is now online. So however, now for the people who cannot do node space dots, which is for people who are running Mac OS, what they can do is, so first thing to, to cancel out, to basically stop this bot or stop the program is you can type control C anytime. That will basically get us out of the here. So then for the people who do not have, uh, cannot simply type node dot space dot and run it, what you have to type is node index.js basically node and the name of the file in this case the name of the file is index.js and press enter and it will say bot is ready and as you can see the bot is back and if we cancel it by pressing ctrl c exit us out of this program and eventually the bot will come offline so in this simple video, I showed you how you can create your own Discord bot, set it up, and have it come online. So, in a couple of days, I'll be releasing another video in this series. I will be showing you guys to set up simple commands which you can use to interact with your bot, such as like a hi command, a ping command, and other simple commands. Alright guys, there you have it. So, now you know how you can create your own Discord bot using the Discord developer portal and add it to your own server and make it come online with a couple lines of code. So if this video helped you, make sure to give it a like and share this video with friends and family. And be sure to comment down below what you liked about this video or if you have any questions related to the video and I'm glad to reply to them. And be sure to subscribe so you'll get a notification because in the next couple of weeks, I'll be uploading more videos on how to advancing this bot. We're gonna be adding commands to the bot and so be sure to subscribe so you'll get a notification for that. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.